So one really nice feature of VMAX Player, I'm going to demonstrate quickly, is the playlists feature, which you can drag and drop a playlist into. So if I open up the default music folder in Windows, which every Windows installation has, you'll see an automatically created directory called VMX Playlists. So we just go into that. Then any existing playlists we've got, and we can, of course, make new ones uh, with VMX's player. Uh, any playlists that you've got, you just drag and drop them in. So I've got one here. Drag that in. Hold that way. And then that's in there. Then we don't need to restart voice attack or do anything like that. So if we want to get details, total number of playlists. VMX playlist folder initiated. Total number of playlists found. One. Okay, so we dragged one in. It's found one and then it's listed there. You can, of course, name your playlists. Um, if you have lots of playlists, you can see what's in each one at a glance quite easily with this command. Peek playlist one. Peeking into playlist slot one. Classic FM at the movies, the so, sequel, disc three. So it gives us a, a little clip of part way through one of the tracks and reads out the album title, gives us some details. So that's as easy as that. And if you want to play it, playlist one. Play in your playlist. And then we get the album. We can, of course, random the tracks, shuffle, loop them, play random playlists, have many playlists. Easy as that. Top music. Okay, so another great thing you can do with your playlists is to assign them to events within the game. So the playlist that we just imported in with drag and drop, I'm going to use that one. Please assign playlist one to docked. Playlist assigned to event. Okay. As easy as that. I'll go back into the game. So now when I dock, get some permission first. We should get that playlist. Uh oh. I want it. So there are many different events in the game and you can obviously have lots of playlists so you can just assign them to the different events like I've just showed. Uh, if you're playing a playlist at the time you can just ask it to assign that playlist. You don't even have to say the number, it will just assign the playlist that that's currently playing. Let's try that out. Okay, so that's the playlist we just dragged and dropped in. Okay, and another element of BMX player, uh, you can also play internet radio stations. Take a quick look at those. Play internet radio. Accessing internet radio station. Okay, got a default station there, Live Radio. You can, of course, add your own, and there's a bunch of presets as well on there to get you started. Play Radio 2. Accessing Internet Radio Station. For him, so she's going to be thrilled that we welcome Jack Savage. That's Internet Radio. Into our Stop music. Hall of Fame. Stop in music. Would take me home. Or we get done for copyright. <laughs> Can of course drag and drop in music packs, one or more. Um, the number of music packs you've got, if you're using them in context mode, will add to the pool automatically. You don't have to set them or do anything with them. Context mode will make use of them. If you're not using context mode, you can of course play music packs as albums. Uh, like this. Play music. Play an original mix.
Next track. Next track. Previous track. Previous track. And you've also obviously got variants with music packs. Play key up. Playing track with key up. Play original. Play an original mix. Replace lead instrument. Replacing lead instrument. Play original. Play an original mix. And as with all music and the music packs and your playlists, you can fast forward, rewind, pause, etc. Fast forward. Rewind. Stop music. Stop it, music. And all sound effects, including acknowledgement alerts, you can switch them off if you wish. Uh, and acknowledgement beeps you can change as well. So it's very configurable as well. Lots of options there. So if text to speech is your thing, you can use text to speech with VMX uh, player. Use that. Set voice TTS. Voice has been set to text to speech. Play music. Accessing Lave Radio. Stop music. Stopping music. Play original. Playing original mix. Stop music. Stopping music. So you have full TTS control as well as an option. Um, you can have voice expansions and TTS or just use TTS if you don't want to voice expansions. Very flexible. You have full control over things like volume as well. Play music. Play an original mix. Current volume. Volume has been set to 25%. So we can nudge that up. Volume up. Volume has been set to 45%. Volume 25%. Volume has been set to 25%. So we can nudge the volume up and down with up and down, or we can specifically say a percentage, and we can get the current status of volume as well. Stop music. Stop it, music. We'll finish off and show that it won't take much to annoy the security services here again. <laughs> I've took a few pot shots at the settlement down here. Let's see how long it takes to stir the wasp's nest. <laughs> So we have some settlement music as we come down. Oh, oh I see. Settlement to shoot. Is that a clip of that? Oh. Oh, there's a beefier one than what came out to me before. Under attack. Here we go. Okay, here we get some combat music. And uh, we've got an evil clipper coming to sort me out, I think. <laughs> oh, there's another one, is it? Oh dear. Here we go. Not gonna last long since I trashed my ship last time. <laughs> We have to run in a minute. You 
can add voice expansions to VMX player and set them like this. Set voice obsidian. Voice expansion set to obsidian. Hi guys and girls. And then whichever voice expansion you got, you just set it in that way. So it's all drag and drop and then set. That's it. You're all done.